So one of the most helpful sustainability resources for me has been, um, since I'm a grazer, has been being a part of our local um, or regional grazers associations or grazers networking groups, and then also with our state um, grazing association, Grassworks. And so our grazing, the grazing network, I'll kind of talk about those briefly just because they're, I think, more boots on the ground learning experiences. They've been, um, because we're where we're situated, we're um, kind of on the ed- the northern edge of St. Croix County. So we're very close to a lot of the events and pasture walks that um, the Northwestern Grazers does. And then the River Country is, is we're part of as part of us is a little bit farther, it covers areas more south. So I've been involved with both of those organizations, but both organizations have technical field staff that will help grazers um, in getting started and also making improvements on their land. And they also work in collaboration with NRCS and those conservationists. But the one thing that I found to be very helpful on top of that has been being a part of attending and also I've hosted some of these as well pasture walks so they're field days right on far on on, um, various farms who are using different types of conservation practices typically there's some connection back to having grazing livestock but those practices can really vary and I can tell you almost all of them don't most of them I've been to do not have goats or sheep some of them have sheep but I learn a lot learning from even other what other livestock farmers are doing with grazing practices so it's been very helpful to not only see what other farmers are doing and grazers are doing but also take a look at like how I can implement those practices on my farm what they've learned and how I can maybe learn and grow um, without maybe doing some of the things they learned along the way and I you know I that's true with me as I you know as I share and help others who are getting started in this area so those pasture walks have been tremendous and I really appreciated my um, those other farmers um, inviting other people on other farmers onto their farm and being really honest about how their farming practices work what they've learned how they've improved along the way maybe what they would have done differently it's just been tremendous for continuing to build on what we're doing here on our farm um the grazing conference through Grassworks has been another tremendous um, contribution for me in learning and a resource on conservation practices related to grazing. It's probably less, you know, boots on the ground learning and seeing what your peers are doing, but there's a lot of great resources for learning about best practices with grazing and animal health as it pertains to animals who are raised um, on on pasture. Just because there's two, we're kind of dealing with two elements of. A pasture management, but then also on the animal health side as well too. So those are my two, um, say, favorite and most useful resources in this area of, of farming.